Welcome to the lighter side of the dark side. It's your weekly freak show here on Renegade Radio. Also, Apple, Spotify, Stitcher, Deezer. You used to work for Deezer. Jesus, you dug into YouTube. Yes. <laughs> That's not even on my tune channel. In, tune in, Radio Public. And now we're on, uh, we just, we're on uh, radio.com, and we just added on uh, CastBox. So thanks for all, all your new listeners. YouTube, wherever you're checking us out, it's the Dark Mark Show. I'm Dark Mark, the goth comedian. And, you know, you don't want to be on camera, really? Whatever. It's fine. Okay, good. <laughs> see this see this beautiful face right here? That is my co-host, everybody's favorite heavy metal vegan DJ, Hi. or vegan heavy metal DJ, <laughs> Hannah Bach. Hello, guys. Hi, Hannah. Hi. Sorry. That's a, no, that's okay. We missed were, you last week. No, but we saw each other at the, at the cult concert. We did. We went to the cult concert. We yeah, can we'll, talk about that We'll a talk about later. that a little bit, but we've got, I'm, I'm surrounded by Which your, cult? The, the, the cult. There's one the cult. The 80s. Yeah. Oh, there's only one? Yeah. There's, well, there's Blue Oyster Cult. There's the cults, plural, but then there's the cult. There's a lot of cults around. I so. love that. My Life with Thrill Kill Cult. Oh, the Ride My Life with Thrill Kill. But that's with a K, so that's, yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of cults. Is this a band or a cult? It's called it's called the cult. And it's a band. <laughs> it's a band. Oh, okay. Okay. I was hoping it was a cult. By the way, the, the person talking, I... Uh, By before, the way, the person that won't stop interrupting. No, no, please. Interrupt all day, please. Uh, hands, hands cracking up. Don't worry about it. I'm just... Uh, this is, uh, she's got her own podcast. That's hey. why she's used to talking. And she's, uh, uh, no, that's okay. Yeah. Interrupt all you want. This is, I, need to lean you know in. I heard I need to lean, I heard I need to lean into it more. No, no, you, you, you know everything. So, yeah. you know, just, but you didn't know the cult was a band. Yeah, it's, it's irony. Yes. This is Emily Hagan. She's hey guys. Stand-up comedian, host, mm -hmm. uh, podcaster, YouTuber. You, you do everything. I said I'm into the dark side on the inside, but I don't. Dress like it. No, no. There's a lot. Of, trust me. I I, uh, I listened to your Vampire Lounge episode. I, I love uh, that one. Yeah, we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about you were in a goth band. You were a musician. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff to talk about. And also, uh, she's not goth, but I'm assuming she had a goth phase. And we're gonna talk yeah. about that. Look, fr from another world, it's Star Alien. Star is so pretty that she looks like one of those filters that you have on live streaming apps now it makes yeah. girls look like what you actually look like it right. makes your eyes big your chin more narrow like you look like if a you, real life perfect beauty filter somebody oh, photoshopped you. you before you walked in yeah that's yeah. what you're saying right yeah no i, I could see that yeah she looks like her photos ladies and gentlemen exactly this is yeah flawless yeah. Follows you, and that after you said to fill in, uh, take the shadows away. There's no shadows. No, it's not. There's nothing. It, it okay. Star alien from another from another world. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, let's get to our, our sponsors really quick. Audible. I love Audible. I love audiobooks. AudibleTrial.com forward slash DMS. We've got a deal for you. Free. Whoa. Two. Uh, you're probably familiar with this deal since you go on a lot of podcasts. If you go to AudibleTrial.com forward slash DMS, a free book. Free 30 day trial and two Audible originals. And they've got all sorts of comedy albums by everybody from George Carlin to Jim Gaffigan to Kevin Hart to Chelsea Handler's got books. Everybody's got uh, Tiffany Haddish's book out is on there, David Spade's book's on there. And also, as far as the Audible originals, this month, I'm ex really excited about this. Hannah's less than excited. I see her in her phrase. <laughs> they have a, William Gibson, the science fiction writer, commissioned a strip for Alien 3 that was never used. Somebody dug up the script, and this is for you, Star Alien, because you're an alien. <laughs> somebody picked up the script. Man, did the energy go out of this room? The uh, somebody. It's <laughs> happening. It happened. So uh, somebody picked up the script, <coughs> and now they're doing a. Uh, they did a live read of the script with Michael Bean, who was in the Aliens, with Lance Henriksen, who was in the Aliens. So it's a whole new Alien Three. This one's not going to suck. And also, they have a um, a live play. It's a fairy tale with uh, Kate McKinnon from Saturday Night Live. That's another Audible original mm. you can get. They've got great stuff. Any book you want, two Audible originals, go to audibletrial.com forward slash DMS. Get a book, two Audible originals. Cancel it the next day. They don't care. And you don't have to read. You can just listen. You just listen it's to your awesome. car. I go down the, we're on the road. We're all on the road. I listen to it in my car. Also, uh, Hannah will tell you about our other sponsor, uh, Do Me's Home Cooking. Do Me's Home Cooking, yeah. Are you vegan, Any, either one of you? I'm vegan. You're vegan? Cool. Yeah. Oh, you would love this place. Well, you would love this place, too, even though you're not vegan. My boyfriend's vegan. Your boyfriend? Well, we'll talk about that, because uh, Hannah's uh, everybody's favorite uh, vegan heavy metal DJ. But take your boyfriend to do me some cooking, because... Where is it? You'll both love it. It's uh, it's 1253 Vine Street. Oh, I live on Vine. Well, there you I go. I had no idea there was a vegan right, restaurant. You, you He's know where, been eating a cactus every day. You know where, you know where the, uh, the M bar used to be? The what? The M bar used to be? Mm-mm. It's on Fountain and Vine. 
like one block away from my house. Well, then you I got to go. You got to go because yeah. they have two restaurants. Doomies Home Cooking, that's D-O-O-M-I-E-S, has pulled pork, shrimp po' boys. They have chili cheese fries. Mm -hmm. They've got the nachos, or one of the 10 best nachos in L.A., the only one without meat. Then they have a Mexican side, flautas. I had a, I had a carne, asada, carne asada burrito. And the desserts, yeah, chocolate right. cake. They have. It's all vegan. All it's vegan. All, it's all, it's vegan. all yeah. amazing. You would never know. So I, I was there. I didn't know. I was like, whoa. We were there. You and, have pulled and, pork, vegan style. Yeah. You know, vegan cheese tastes better than real, real cheese. It can. It can. And they have chicken parmesan sandwiches. They got mm -hmm. everything there. They have a mock Big Mac, and they have the best carrot cake yeah, ever. Yeah, really? that's on the secret menu. With the, I tried being vegan. I got fatter. <laughs> I, I did, that, that happened to me too. Yeah, I was just eating sweet potatoes. That's all I. I that's all I did. Right. Yeah. I, I went to my fa my friend's uh, vegan plan and I gained two pounds. R really. Really. Yeah, yeah. No, I had more arm fat. I think you really have to like. I think you need to know what blood type you are to know what diet works for you. I'm, I'm sure it is. I think I, I'm a meaty. I'm a carnivore. Yeah. Like I don't feel sick after I eat meat, but if I'm just eating carbs all the time, I don't feel that that well. Anyway, you won't be sick after but going to do me some cooking. <laughs> Twelve fifty three Ryan Street, about a block from out. your house. No, it's all right. Uh, and, and there's also a restaurant in Culver City and uh, in Toronto, Canada. And City Terrace. Yes. Mm -hmm. So go to Doomie's Home Cooking. So I'm going to start with uh, Emily here because she knows everything. Do you really? I know nothing. Really? I'm so deep. I probably should change my <laughs> username because I hate getting that question. Yeah, I know. It's like it's, it's so hack. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm hack. I'm the hack. I'm like, I know nothing. That's no, but my, you know everything. That's my screen name. Every, uh, Emily knows everything, or every knows. Uh, Emily knows everything. It's a way for I think my is my um. It's a way for me to make mistakes and get away with it. Oh, okay. Well, that's uh, that show business stuff. Well, yeah, right. Well, I like to on my podcast. I like to learn something new each week. I like to go in it with like a into, like I know everything, and then at the end I realize I didn't. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Like the vampire lounge episode. Right. I learned a lot about vampires that night. Although I think we could have gotten even deeper. Did you really? I, I mean, mean, I mean, I, I, you know, I know, I know. I, I, I don't think we got, he wasn't a real vampire. Right. We didn't get deep enough. Yeah. But I brought him back on to do an episode about treasure hunting. No, he, he was cool. I, he had, uh, he had some, it was interesting because he was talking about Cloak and Dagger and I, I've never been by Michael, I might go tomorrow, they're having an open house. Oh, really? Yeah. But Maybe uh, I'll go. Yeah. Well, I'll let you know if I go. Uh, I'm not sure. Cloak and Dagger, by the way, for our listeners who have no idea what we're talking about, is a uh, secret goth club in mm -hmm. L.A., and I've been invited to go, and I've never gone. And I also have friends that have gone and literally have nervous breakdowns and lost their minds and ended up in the insane asylum. So, Because of Cloak and Dagger. That's what they say. I used to work at the what? Rainbow Room. I lasted a week. Right. Like I said, goths typically the, don't like the rainbow. The Rainbow on Sunset? Or? Yes. Yeah, okay, I worked that, there, too. Uh, you what, did? What, 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 I was the DJ upstairs. Yeah. Well, at least you were, like, doing your – I was a waitress, and oh. they, they, like – it's basically, like, hazing for waitresses. It is. There's all these adult goth women that haze these young girls, and I literally lasted a week. But the funniest thing is that you're you're waiting on old '80s heavy metal guys. That the the people that are at the frequenting the restaurant aren't the problem. It's right. the waitresses there. They were like demolishing me. I remember I got super high on my like 26th birthday. Right, and, as you do. Yeah, and I went to work. I was scheduled at the Rainbow Room. It was yeah. my last day of training. And I had a breakdown, and I just, I just, my manager goes, "You're fired," and I was like, "I quit," and I was like, "This place has negative energy." And he, <laughs> when, when I got there, he was like, "You put your purse in the dungeon," like it was a very, and I'm like, it was literally just a door with a few steps, like it wasn't a dungeon. Mm -hmm. But these women were acting like they were like really hardcore, and yeah. they all went to cloak and dagger, but they like wouldn't invite me. Right. But I didn't even make it a week into the Rainbow Room. I had to go. I love that you still call it the Rainbow Room. What do you call it's it? It's just the rainbow. Or the bow. Oh, my or God. You're right. Yeah, but see, that's why I was fired, because I didn't even know like yeah. the, the cool term. Well, yeah. I called it the Rainbow Room the first like three years I hung out there. Oh, did so. you? Okay. So there's also, I there's... love going there. I just hated working there. Yeah. It's it's not fun to, to work there, especially if you get on the bad side of managers. I was on the bad side. For, I don't know why I was on the bad side. Like I'm, I always 
I'm not good at working. Like people, yeah, don't, that, that could be it. People don't like me at these types of jobs, but especially waitresses. Once when you jobs, have to work, or once I have to like do, one, I don't, I don't know. It wasn't the managers. It was like the other waitresses that hated me. Well, yeah, that's they said I was like, like too into yoga. Yeah. And I, what? At the time, I was like super spiritual, right? And I was, I think I was preaching positivity, maybe. Oh God forbid. And they were like, "Fuck you, bitch! You need to learn yeah. how to do it around here." It was. <laughs> Like yeah. you work there. Go over yeah. there and wait on Ron you, Jeremy. You know, there was um there's one woman that still works there that like nobody the likes. Yeah. You know, Morticia Adams, and she was just always nasty to me and she's still nasty there's, to me. There's the girl would like take the drink, like I would be waiting for my drink ticket and she'd be like and she and I, she was like shoving me the other way and I was just like this like young girl yeah. that was like yoga and they're like yeah. fuck you bitch yeah, yeah. Sebastian Bach's over there get out of the way. I wish Sebastian <laughs> Bach would have been there when I was there. Oh he's a dick. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, I, 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 we're losing star with this conversation. I don't know. It's like, have you ever been to the Rainbow? You, you've been to the Rainbow, right? Um, I went once for the first time like a month ago or two uh, months ago. Uh, what do you think? I'm always curious what uh, You should do a whole episode think. on the Rainbow. Oh, we've done it. So <laughs> trust me. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I was only there like briefly during the day. It was chill. Yeah? That's like the place where Motley Crue would go and get um, head under the table, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's where they go now to try to get head under the table, but uh, sometimes I know they do, he was allowed to get hat. I couldn't bring up a yoga. Right, <laughs> right. That's, well, that's the thing. It's... If you were talking about your yoga instructor, you know, uh, licking your pussy under the table, then maybe that was that'd be something. No, totally. Else. Yeah, but Star Alien, where, where where in the galaxy do you come from? Um, far, far away. Yeah, I come from Lyra. Lyra, where's <laughs> Lyra? Know. Really far away. Is that a planet? Yeah, well, I think it's actually a star system. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not an astronomer, so I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah. I thought you were. Yeah. It, 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 no, that, that, are, are you really an alien? Because that would explain, like, <laughs> why you look post-photoshopped. At, at, at <laughs> yeah, your right look now. is very, like, intense in a good way. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, it's definitely a part of my aesthetic. Okay. I feel like an alien, though. I always feel like, like an outcast. Really? Yeah. Because I, and I'm assuming, because we're going to play your, your song uh, soon, and you're a singer, and uh, just I, I probably should have prefaced that so people know who, who yeah, we just we just have an, a random alien on the show. <laughs> but no, we have a singer on, you, you are a singer, and you have a, a new song, Kawaii, and we're going to play that later. But were you a model before? What I mean, you have so many Instagram followers, and um, I had no idea. Now I'm on the Star Alien train. I don't know. How do people know you? Yeah, I do model still as like a side job, but I would live stream a lot. Ah, what as app a job do you do? as well. Um, Bigo live oh, me. I did Bigo too. Really? I, you look like a Bigo filter. <laughs> the one that that's what I was trying. I didn't know if you would know the reference. You look like one of those Bigo filters because they're all like very like it's Asian oriented, so they want the American girls to look more Asian. Yeah. So that's what I thought you looked like. It's like the pretty filter on Bigo. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Shout out to Bigo, the live streaming except, app. Except except we're actually here. Where you in stream person. for beans. Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. I don't know Bigo. Yeah, you get a magical currency of beans. Instead of dollars they pay you in beans. Oh really? Yeah. Digital beans. So you would live stream you get like a million people they play pay in a million beans or they just pay give you gifts in like different forms. Okay. And then yeah. you cash out your beans. Really? What 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 age were you doing this? Last year. Okay, <laughs> Me that's too. what I thought. <laughs> we probably were at the same agency. Probably. Oh, they have an agency? And there, then... Yeah, there's different agencies, and then they oh. hire girls to live stream. Yeah. Okay, so... The... You're not a cam girl. You're just a few steps away. Oh, You're not allowed to show oh, your oh, boobs. Okay. You're not allowed to smoke. You can't swear. I swear to... <laughs> well, yeah, you I can't swear. I would I... swear all the time. Yeah, we really? weren't supposed to, oh. but... Wow. They never... A lot of the people watching were from other countries, so they didn't... Well, no, they know fuck. Let's be real. So, so is this like web, webcam, webcam for kids, or...? We're, it's about two steps away from a webcam girl. Yeah. It's honestly therapeutic. It actually helped me get over a breakup because I just yeah. got out of me a breakup. Too. I would talk about my relationship problems Same. to all these people. And they really? would help. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And a bunch of guys would be like, yeah. yeah. And girls. You'd and be girls? surprised. Like, I would have, like, I don't know about you, but I had, like, women from Chicago that were, like, 55 in my chat, like, giving me <laughs> advice. Wow. No, it's actually I really therapeutic because yeah. they'll give you relationship advice and then, like, they get to know you and they like, you kind of, like, invite them into your, like, world. Okay. And it just, it was an outlet for me to get attention without dating anybody. Right, right. And There's no commitment. Right. And you can just log on and be like, oh, my God, what should I do? Like, I, I didn't know how to paint and, like, well, I would, like, I, I, get I, advice I have, on I painting. Have, yeah, I have problems. Uh, I have problems believing you wanted attention, but... Uh... <laughs> 
Who doesn't? No, I, well, in this town. Wait, it, stars. Do you still live stream? Um, I'm about to sign to a new app called Live AF. I was certainly not. Like, I have an app for you. I what? just signed with a new one, and I think it it's better than Live AF. What is it? Miko. 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 M I C O. Oh, okay. I just started three days ago. I gotta cut. I gotta get a cut of this transaction. What's going on here? They let you keep seventy five percent of your tips. The thing with Bigo, they were taking ninety percent of tips. So oh. a guy would gift you a hundred dollars. You right. only got what $10 and right. then your agency would take 25% of that 10 sure so I had one guy that dropped like 10 grand what on me it within the course of three months oh. and I only saw like a thousand dollars seven hundred dollars of that 10 grand so and he had no idea so these apps can be very misleading so now people are creating new apps that help the broadcasters make more money because they're realizing that some fat dude in Singapore is smoking a cigar taking all the poor stars money yeah it's not I, fair. I, I'm learning something new every day. I have no idea. I don't idea know about why I no assumed idea. the Singapore guy was fat. I'm not whatever. I'm just well, bitter well, about well, the well, app. I mean, you're probably well, cause, right. Because I'm fat. Stop it. Stop it. No, I was just picturing some like guy like smoking cigars, like just Buddha, like getting Buddha all the smoking beans. cigars. Yeah, kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's a weird world. You, you should check it out. I, I I haven't gotten that deep into into the internet. I got to really really wow. They probably love Star on the app. I'm sure. Who wouldn't love? Like, what do you talk about? Yeah, let's hear this. I, I want to hear this. Um, I would talk about aliens and like spirituality, and I would read tarot cards. Oh my god, oh. I saw your stream. You did? I just realized you were like the tarot girl. <laughs> yeah. You like sat in like a darker room, and you, or it was like light, there was cool lights. Maybe. I remember <laughs> thinking like, oh, I literally saw yours because no one else really does that on the app. Yeah. Everyone else just twerks. It's kind of become like a stripping app. No, wait a second. Do you, did you twerk? Do you twerk? One time I humped a vacuum as a joke. <laughs> yeah. Like I got really, I put like Taylor Swift on and then like every song on YouTube, that, it was like all pop songs. Sure, and I got like, I had like a fly swatter and I was like acting stupid with the props and I started like humping a vacuum. Right, right. As you do. And then a suitcase. Yeah. But I had like high waisted jeans on. These right. girls have like booty shorts on and they're twerking to the camera. Oh, okay. But Stars Broadcast, you were like actually doing a service. It's good for people that are like doing tarot or like spiritual stuff. Oh, wow. Because then people are like learning about themselves. No, I wish I would have known that you do tarot. We could we could have had our fortunes read. Oh, yeah. The, the, th the weird thing about the tarot, do you really need the cards? I always ask this. What do you mean? Like, the, the, can you like feel something or you have to have the cards tell you what to feel no i mean i i can like feel vibes and read people really well but like i would just do that for entertainment right As i'm not i'm but, not like a legit psychic right oh okay just intuitive i guess but that was just my way of entertaining people because we have people read read tarot on, on the air and i have a lot of people uh friends that do it and it's like well wait a second if you're really psychic why do you need something that says queen of clubs <laughs> to tell you what's going on yeah so tarot it, it, readers aren't psychics some are I, some are but they would say that they're a tarot reader and a medium or a psychic right right that, that's a, that's what we got i'm sorry i'm not I, I, sorry yeah, I, I have like the i, I, I have like I, the best tarot reader in la that does my tarot and okay. every time he flips the card though it's like oh the king of or the knight of cups you're supposed to be with or the king of swords yeah emily this is my card you're supposed to be with me. It always ends up, oh, he twists oh, it every right. time. That the deck's always like, wow, you know, yeah. it looks like you're gonna end up with my card. I'm the king of swords. Great. I don't know, the yeah. Knight of Cups is the most drawn card in the tarot deck in LA, he said. That's the sign, the card that, um, it's like the fuck boy. So they like give <laughs> right. you a passionate relationship. Right. And then they vanish. They tell you they love you the first day and then mm -hmm. they disappear and flee in the middle of the night. Right, right. I mean, Hannah's has married with fuck boys. I bet you've, got, oh, yeah. I bet you've in gotten life. that card a lot. Probably. Han Hannah commented on my uh, fuck boy haircut when I, uh, <laughs> I really tried to get that. This is a little fuck boy. Right now? Well, it's, well, I, I mean, I know I know it, uh, the rest of it doesn't really work, but from what I used to have, I used to have like real, real spiky hair. So this is kind of. A little fuck boys. A little bit, the way it's to the side. Now you're from uh, you're from uh, Buffalo. Yeah, I was born here, and then I moved to Buffalo when I was four. Oh, really? So, am I from Buffalo, or am I from here? Uh, I was, uh, well, I wore the Buffalo shirt for you the, from when I went to when I played the Goth Festival. Oh my in God, Buffalo. cool! Yeah, and my my grandma's from Niagara Falls, so that's why I was very uh, curious about that. Mm -hmm. I know, and. and Although you kind of sound like you're from Chicago, but it's the same accent. I know that's the thing. Yeah. I, my my aunt's like that. 
you want a glass of pop? You know, it's like one yeah, of those. Yeah, we say pop. Yeah, have some pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We say pop in Alaska too. Oh, okay. you're from Alaska. <laughs> That's from cool. Alaska. Yeah. So, uh, so you, you were born. So, how did you? Why did they move from LA to Buffalo? My, my dad's from LA. My mom's from upstate New York. So she wanted to like be with her parents before they like died. Okay, well that's nice. Valid reason. She wanted to like raise her family outside of the entertainment in- industry. Oh, is she in, in, in the industry? Well, she industry? had me in movies when I was like a baby, and I'm pissed that they moved because I feel like I could have been a child star, and now right. I'm just a struggling nothing star. Oh, will you stop it? <laughs> so like, I was annoyed that I left. Like, I did. I was more successful as like a six month old baby than I am now. Oh, really? Yeah. You were in movies when you were six months old. Yeah. What movie? I was in Best of the Best. Eric really? Roberts played my father. And my mom has a theory that Emma was named after me because like two years later he had Emma and he always would tell my mom, I love that name, Emily. But I think my mom's just being a mom and like taking credit for the name. I don't know. That's kind of a coincidence. I know. And Eric Roberts, uh, well, yeah, he was And probably... I bumped into him at the Laugh Factory recently. Yeah. And I was like, Eric, blah, blah, blah. And we took a selfie. And then I put the selfie next to the shot of us when I was a baby. And this time he's grabbing me like a lot closer. I'll bet. Like it was like we were dating, but then the other one, like he was my dad and I was a baby. Well, it's always, I have to, it's always nice to get a couple looks. Yeah. I've met Eric Roberts. He's a nice guy. Yeah. But uh, yeah, he did a lot of coke in the 80s. So who knows? Maybe he just oh, really? Ran, uh, who knows? Everybody did. <laughs> yeah. Who didn't? I mean, you, you hang out the rainbow. They do they're, they're the same guys are still doing coke. Mm-hmm. On the Actually, table. yeah, people were doing coke when I worked there, and no yeah. one cared. Oh yeah, right on the open. It just, yeah, it doesn't matter. And I'm in trouble for talking about Kundalini. It was so dumb. <laughs> no, I went there. I went there with a clown once. She started doing coke. She got a coke at the door. That's, that's a long story. Anyway, so you don't Get have that car- camera off of me. No, no, wait a second. <laughs> You're making, can we switch it to someone else? Okay, all right. Well, we we'll, just we'll, focused on me a little bit too much. Well, you're, you're, no, let me talk. Let me talk to Star. Let's move it to Star. That's so it was a Star. I, <laughs> you knew you were going to be on camera. I know, but I feel like I just got embarrassed, and I think it's Star's turn. It's Star's. I'm I didn't gonna... know. Huh? I didn't know. I was unaware, but I don't care. No, but you're always photo jank. You're always photo ready. I I did my makeup in like five minutes today, which I never do. Yeah? So. Uh, how, how much? How long does it usually take? Like 20. I'll stop. That's <laughs> nothing. 20 minutes. 20 yeah. minutes? Yeah. That's a, please. For, yeah. I was the one that I probably did. I probably had the most time during the makeup, and uh, it was it looks awful. But uh, so uh, anyway, sorry. Did you did you did you go through a goth phase too? Yeah, when I was like fifteen, sixteen, I like dated this punk guy, but it was like witchy. <laughs> it's always Ooh. about like who you date. Yeah, that, that's the phase you enter. It's whoever you're dating. Yeah. Oh, so he was like a real creepy, occult, witchy, weird, gothy guy. No, he was punk. So I, I was punk. like witchy punk goth. And I would listen to like rock and punk a little bit, and then I just became full on hippie and rainbows and sparkles. But I still wear like black and chains sometimes. Like right now, I'm yeah. kind of goth. No, no that's fine. It's fine. You, like don't to, you don't have to be goth. Yeah, no, you have a handcuff necklace on. <laughs> oh yeah. wow! Wait a second. What is that? And this like mean? star thing. Oh okay, yeah, and it's it's not a pentagram. It's a star. Is it a pentagram? Well, no, it's not upside down. Okay, all right. I just want to make sure. <laughs> is that uh, uh, Hannah? Is that a uh, pentagram star? Is there a difference? I don't know. I never really paid attention. <laughs> well, you anyway. So, I'm just trying to figure it out. I, but the Satan stuff's just it looks for like fun. a star. I'm an atheist. It's, it's a star. You're an atheist. What happened? I'm an unbeliever. No, I just do all the Satan stuff just because it's fun and it keeps a certain stigma of people away from me. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, star. Really? Uh, now, when did you hit LA? Oh, I was born here. Oh, okay. In the valley. Oh, sorry to hear that. Uh, we're, we're in the valley. <laughs> no, I just. I just escaped the valley. Oh, really? I was in the bus valley for years, and uh, I, I just I moved to Los Feliz. So I... I can't pronounce that. Nobody can. I'm always like, it's Los Feliz. Right. <laughs> so so it's, it's it's so weird. So I'm like the goth guy in, like, Hipsterville. So but where, where, in, where in the valley did you uh, grow up? Um, Deep in the valley, Silmar, where people ride horses around. Ah. And, yeah, I kind of live on, like, a little farm. No, I had an ex-girlfriend that lived in Silmar. That's, really? that's good. You ride horses? That's great. No, I don't ride horses. My neighbors do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you've ridden horses, haven't you? Yeah. Okay. It's fun. <laughs> I'm picturing her on like a book cover. It's no, like, no, I'm totally picturing it's her. It's like, like a little girl I, I, that was I'm, on the farm that yeah. transformed into this like alien witch. <laughs> yes. I'm, 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 I'm picturing her hair flowing as she's riding the horse. Yeah, I can like and, see yeah. the illustration. Yeah. I, I'm sure. It's, and uh, so then, um, so how did, so the whole live stream thing. We got to get back to that because I, I was I was really fascinated by that. How did you get into that? Um, uh, 
Well, I like self submit for things and I just self submitted for it. And then, yeah. And then sometimes people message me on social media with um, opportunities. So, you know, yeah. You have a lot of followers on social media. And, and you used to work as a social media consultant. I did? That's what it says on your LinkedIn. Now, uh, oh, yeah. I lied. Okay. <laughs> but you have a lot of followers, too. So tell me. I actually have a job to interview tomorrow to be a social media manager of a right. hospital that I need to prepare for after this. Okay, good. Uh, I, I hope they don't hear this. but uh, They're not going to hear it. Okay, good. By tomorrow morning? They, it won't be out yet. No, no, it won't be out yet. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, good. Uh, so uh, tell us, uh, other than looking beautiful as, as you two are, how do, I get, <laughs> how do I work social media? I'm really bad at it. Help me out. How did you build your social media empire that you have now? Um, mainly through, well, you can know somebody who has a lot of followers and then they like post you on their story or whatever. And then right. you steal some of their like mm -hmm. followers or fans right. Right. or like, I mean, live streaming really like, that's what really got me a lot of followers was live mm. streaming. Right. Okay. I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out, do you have any, uh, any tips, uh, Emily? Mm. Especially coming from the comedy side. I mean... The more you engage, like I like she said, I was tagged in videos with other people that had a lot of followers, and right. then they would come and follow me. And then, like, basically, I don't think just doing hashtags work. I think that you can't really start from nothing and just do hashtags. Yeah. It's, not, not anymore. I think there was a time. That and now tried. there's a shadow ban. So there's certain hashtags that are banned on Instagram. So if you post those, your account can get flagged. It's really? Instagram is making things impossible for people. Yeah, it's called the shadow ban. There's like certain hashtags that you're not even aware of or negative. It could be like co co work Mondays or coffee cup. Right. It could be coffee cup. And then you hashtag a photo that your account will get flagged and then your photo won't show up in that in that hashtag. Oh, wow. It's really weird. Is the, there a reason? Uh, I don't know. I didn't get that deep into the research. I'm not going to hashtag anymore in my life. There's this guy called Big Daddy YouTube that comments on all my photos, and he was Big Daddy YouTube. Yeah, Big Daddy YouTube. And shout out, he's probably yes. listening. Yes, yeah, so he probably hangs out with a big fu. <laughs> he literally comments like 20 hat. He was hashtagging 20 things on my photos that were unrelated to the post. Right. And I got a a ban, and I was like, Big Daddy, you yeah. got to stop hashtagging because you're not allowed to use more than 30 hashtags per post either. Is Big Daddy in Singapore, by the way? I don't know where he is. Okay, he makes you know. memes of me a lot. He'll like send me the same photo of me, and he's made 20 different comedy memes of it. Oh, I'm sure. I'll sometimes repost. Um, but there's, it's like uh, growing on Instagram is different for everybody right like if i got this job at the hospital the techniques i use at the hospital are going to be way different than i use for myself oh, i sure. can't whore myself out at providence hospital well you could but uh dude if i get this job yeah. i'm losing it the second this podcast is out right, right, i'm right. confused so you're working for social media at a hospital They're, they need someone to run the social media at a hospital oh okay yeah there's these there's a lot of everybody has to have a, a social media yeah, everyone uh, yeah. needs it now. Yeah, everybody. Like uh, every company is doing it now. Yeah. But, you know, whereas you know, five, ten years ago, they're like nobody cares, but everybody's got social media. Yeah, and people are worried that it's gonna die. Sometimes I wonder what happens if Instagram got deleted. Like, would I be able to live? And <laughs> I think there'd be. Some someone would take its place, though. I mean, I yeah. think I would get better at my craft because right. I would focus on jokes and not attention. Wow. Well. Aren't we all? The validation's nice. Now, tell me about it, uh, some of your uh, obsessive fans. I'm sure you have some. Yeah, um, <laughs> they're really weird <laughs> in a good way. Like it's just like yeah, like it's because I'm weird. So the people really? that like me are weird. It's like those people that like to talk about like aliens and stuff. And... Now you believe in aliens. I mean, yeah, I can't say 100% because I've never seen an alien, but I think it's definitely possible. Right. and But, I mean, if, if there was an alien, would they have human form, though? Mm, or would they be, like, know. amoebas or something that we can't see? or uh, Maybe, like, in another dimension. Or maybe they would just be, like, of a different form okay but who knows i heard of all these different types like reptilians and grays and right right arcturians and yeah what's arcturians they're like these big blue people oh cool. really <laughs> wow 
I, I, I think I saw him at Burning Man once. Oh, Beast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, it's those, those, the guys that play Vegas or just like, like how, how big? I don't know. I was looking them up today. Vegas has aliens. Like that's where the aliens hang out. Uh-huh. Well, I've been, uh, yeah, I've been there a- Area 51. Y- you have? I drove out there. I did a YouTube vlog about it. Oh my God, cool. We didn't really, get, we didn't, we, we saw, we just got to the edge and then we saw like the people pointing guns at us and stuff. And really? Yeah, yeah, it was pretty. It was That's pretty, a pretty good video. Yeah, it was, it was good. We stayed by the Clown Motel out there by Area 51. That place was creepy. Ooh. Oh, yeah. tell, do tell. The Clown Motel? And we, yeah. we went there on a road trip last summer. Sounds and, awesome. Yeah. So. I'm working on getting more clowns on the well, show, by the way. <laughs> there's a turn of the century on, on the c- Hayoka Cemetery there. Um, where a lot of like babies were buried and everything because the plague killed a lot of workers. But um, a lot of the people would come, like Ghost Hunters was on there, and um, their cameras would shut off, but it's just because Area 51, when they do their test, they suck up all the energy in all the, you know, from the little towns, and that's why The energy is like different comes. over there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a feeling. When we were driving up, I saw the most unique pink lightning I've ever seen. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's, that's cool. My cousin mm-hmm. thinks he saw a tall white when he was working in the front desk at the Mirage, and he said it was the most he's ever felt connected to another person, and that it was like this calm feeling, and now he thinks he's a tall white. Okay. Which could be possible because he's very unemotional and does have like, he's tall and he's white. <laughs> he's tall, he's white. <laughs> yeah, but he definitely thinks he's a tall white now. Okay. What's a tall white? It's another race of okay. aliens. All right, yeah. I, I, I wasn't aware of tall whites. Now, you said you were what? You said you were... Like, I don't affiliate with it. No, like two, two minutes ago, you said you were some, something. Oh, I'm a Hayoka empath, so I'm the clown empath. There's different types of empaths. I don't oh, know okay. if you're familiar oh, with that. Oh, the sacred clown? I'm the sacred clown. I was just looking that up like a few days ago, and I thought it was a joke, so I put it on my story, and I was like, you guys, I think I'm a clown. No, I literally have <laughs> been... It's like a thing? Yeah, it's no, I with am. a bunch of clowns. My friends uh, went to a shaman in New York recently, and they were talking about her, and they told her, they diagnosed her with a Hayoka, and then she was like, dude, you're way more Hayoka than me. So I started looking it up, and I've never felt like a personality test described me more than yeah. a Hayoka empath. I got to look into that. It's like I, a gesture. It's like you I, say things to shift the energy in the room. We're the most misunderstood. Like we come across as negative, right? But it's really because we like can sense bullshit. Our, we absorb the most energy, so right. we can sense bullshit before other people. I, I think so. That, it doesn't I mean we're like mean. nice. It doesn't mean like I'm so emotional and I'm like going to take on if someone's crying doesn't mean I'm going to cry. That's right. just like a, an emotional empath. There's seven types. Okay. But the Jester Hayoka, they're, yeah, you just have to look it up. Plus, I've dated clowns, so that's, I've dated clowns. I have a lot of clown friends. Well, the weird thing is, the day that I got diagnosed as a Hayoka by my friend, right. who was diagnosed, she, uh, my mom just texted me this photo and was like, you should post this on your page. And it was mm-hmm. a photo of me when I was four. And there's just two giant clowns behind me, and okay. I look the happiest I've ever looked in my life. Ah. And then an hour so it's later, not like those, uh, when they have the pictures with the the baby crying on the clown. I was so comfortable. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, I felt so good with the clowns, and I it was like the best childhood photo. My mom's like, I just found this. I don't even remember this day. Right. So I posted the photo, and then. Like two hours later, my friend goes, "Have you ever heard of Hayoka?" Right. And then that's all I did all night was Google shit because right. I love like learning about like who my, I think about my identity too much. Right. And and, uh, and by the way, the uh, irony of the story is that the clown was Eric Roberts, but uh, maybe no. Is it true that you don't have no any cartilage in your nose? Um. Yeah. Not really. Because you said that on your show, and then yeah, like, you didn't it. follow it up. Wow. What happened? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ask God. You're an atheist. No, I'm I just like, is, I mean, does somebody put you in the nose or what? what I mean, how's that? I just always have this nose. People in high school would be like calling me 2D as if that was like a super mean burn. Like 2D, like, like you do coke? dimensional. Oh. No, <laughs> you do like, coke. I know. I'm, I'm still in the <laughs> rainbow. 2D. I'm still on the rainbow vibe. I don't know. Like two dimensional. It was not that funny. No. They were drama kids. Oh. They didn't have good disses. Oh, okay, yeah. I was meaner than I could take them all off. I was going to say, that's when nerds weren't cool. Now the nerds are cool. They weren't cool when I was graduating. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, see, so you've seen the evolution when nerds weren't cool. Yeah, like Abercrombie kids are popular when I was in school. Right, now they're they're out. Yeah. I was bullied in school for being pretty... Wait a second. Uh, that happens I, a lot, though. I, I know. You, in in really? your adult life, yeah. too. Probably even more. Well, how do they do that? Like... Um, they would call me Barbie and throw things at me, and then I was homeschooled. Because, really? Because like 
girls were really mean to me because I was because like, you're too hot and you're skinny and yeah and they're like don't talk to my boyfriend or whatever and then what well, I, 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 yeah like, that I can I, that I kind of see but to bully somebody for being for being too cute you're no. cholas that's why oh uh, yeah and cool. all those bullies turn out to looking to be like the lunch lady you know in their twenties yeah they're, 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 they're the losers you guys are on the dark mark show you're a, you're a singer we're gonna play your song in a second you're a, Comedian host, podcast host, you guys are up, up and coming. Fuck in them. college, I was walking down the dorm hallway, and this lesbian threw a laundry detergent bottle at my head, and it just what? missed me. No I, fucking I, reason. No, and then I, they I, had a meeting I about think she, me. I think she liked you. Maybe <laughs> they picked on me because I went to performing arts school my first year of college in California, right. and then I transferred back to date this guy. And then in Niagara Falls? In St. Bonaventure, yeah. Like, okay. in only in New York. In yeah. bumfuck America. And then the second I moved back, he dumped me. So I, like, gave up my L.A. life <laughs> to go to this stupid, like, Catholic school in upstate New York. Oh. And I didn't fit in at all. And I remember the RA had a meeting. They held a meeting about me. And she. this is so bizarre, but it was like, hey... The girls on this floor don't like you. Wow. So you need to, and I'm like, why? And then they all got together to tell me the reasons they didn't like me. This is so weird. And the reason was they said I talked about California too much and it was like I was bragging. Uh, but I was just so excited. I, I was, I became a hippie when I came to LA, like, because right. I grew up in a small town. So I never knew anything about like spirituality. So then when I moved to LA, I was like so caught up in like the vampire clubs and right. like meeting spiritual people that when I went back to the school, I was like trying to spread the news and they thought I was just like some cult California bitch. fruitcake. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. One of Scientology, California fruitcake. Yeah, cakes. pretty much. Yeah, yeah. So then I ended up leaving that school and I like graduated in a different yeah. school. California, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get the But the, pretty girls are right made buffalo. fun of a lot. Like people really? think pretty yeah. girls are bitches, but I think people are mean to, I think they bully pretty girls. Really? Mm-hmm. Every mm. pretty girl I know gets Cause bullied. Because I've been bullied by pretty girls. That's why I'm... I, I, I'm really? Oh, yeah. How oh. pretty? Well, in retrospect, I mean, they're, they're not... They're not as pretty as, as the three of you and and Morgan are behind the the, the, like the it, uh, board, but uh, you know, and, you know, in junior high they seem really really pretty. My grandmother was bullied to the day she passed away. She was a model and she was like the nicest woman. She never had any female friends. Really? Yeah. Mm. That's weird. But uh, anybody they bullied her when she was a grandma. Yeah. <laughs> well, she passed away when she was forty, but she never like you know she was always very beautiful looking. And my grandfather owned a bar, and she would sit there, you know, to make sure nobody flirted with my grandpa. Yeah. And the women would just sit there and like just stare at her and talk about her. Because they want a grandpa. Guy. Yeah, and they're jealous of my grandma. She's a fox. Yeah, exactly. So, well, I'm sorry to hear that. No, nobody should be bullied. I mean, mm-hmm. for for any reason, especially to be too pretty. <laughs> that's that's you know, but the, but you've got your revenge. Now, what, now, when did you start? I mean, have you always sung? Have you like? Are you a karaoke person? Are you? No, um, I took singing lessons when I was a kid, and then I just always loved it. But I barely started making music like last year. Right. Well, what uh, what prompted you? Um, I don't know. I just like manifested it. Like I wanted to do it, and then someone DM'd me and was like, "Let's make music," and I was like, "Okay." That's such an LA sentence. Yeah. <laughs> I manifested it, and then I got a DM. Yeah. <laughs> That happens. I love it. No, that's. I mean, that's actually. It's, it's honestly, the true. It's the what's. It's the reality. No, it's kind of how you earned, ended up on the show. Yeah. Really, I just. I was. Uh, I had you booked. I was looking for another guest. I was happy you had her. I'm so happy. I, I'm. I'm totally happy. She's wonderful. But Thank uh, you. do you know how I uh, how I got on, on your Instagram? No. I, I I clicked on you on Tinder. Oh yeah, that's Tinder. I like I owe <laughs> Tinder my life. Like, Damn, really? what's your age range set at? <laughs> Zero. Yeah. I mean, um, it goes to like the oldest. Uh, gee, gee, thanks. <laughs> Why do you want a sugar daddy? No, I just, kind like, of older experienced. Bag? No, I already experienced all that. So the sugar daddy. thing? I kind of. I mean, I dated an older man last year, and okay. I'm just. Was he like thirty? He was like 40. <laughs> oh, God. But he had a midlife crisis, and now I'm just like not about it. Um, <laughs> but I kind of just use Tinder to like connect with people. Because mine says I'm 123 years old. Oh, yeah. so she really set the bar. She really, yeah. She, she <laughs> miscellaneous yeah. age. Well, that's great. I'm glad because I'm, I'm glad that you're on the show. I, I, trust me, I, I, I'm going to go to Tinder and I'm get more all surprised people use Tinder. I thought like, mm-hmm. no one used that anymore. They oh, what used they all use the, now? I thought they used like all the other ones. What, Bumble? I don't know Bumble and Hinge and Raya and what's Hinge? I don't know. Uh, Do you know I'm what Hinge try is? That now. No. 
Uh, what's I know the other Bumble one? Uri- is. Uri- Uri- Rai is like the one Raya. that you have to get approved and you have to be oh, like yeah. a yeah. celebrity. I want to be on that one so yeah. bad. Well, I'm on it, but I have a boyfriend, so I'm not on it. I right. literally got accept. I was on a two year wait, and I finally got accepted to Raya the yeah. day I got in a committed relationship. <laughs> oh, I was so pissed. Well, that's something you have to hold over your boyfriend now. Yeah, I did for a while. You know, that's how I got him to commit, actually. I yeah. was like, well, you can commit to me, or I'm going to pay eight ninety nine a month and <laughs> go on Raya, because you have to pay to be on it. Oh, jeez. There's also the League. That's the app for, like, people that have a degree. Oh, I can't do my pre- that. Yeah, a my, degree my, in what? Anything. My pretentious cousin that, like, does medical device sales is on that. And she's like, uh, the League. Uh. Yeah, yeah, I was, was going to say. She like... likes the worst men. Like, they wear boat shoes. They're all on the League. <laughs> oh. It's... it's probably not your vibe of people. No, somebody told me I didn't need to wear boat shoes. I was on a, I was on a uh, pickup artist uh, uh, podcast, and they're like, no, you need to wear Who's boat pick shoes. pickup podcast? Uh, the wing, Marnie the Wing Girl. Oh, I don't know her. No, because I know that you worked with a, a pickup artist. You were a wing girl for a while. Yeah, and I just met another one recently. Dude, really? they, I'm always getting picked up. Like by pickup artists. Their strategies work on me. Oh, really? Yeah. What did this guy do? The second guy. Well, the the, the one first guy, guy was the Asian playboy, yeah, right? Yeah, he literally just picked me up. Literally, he. I was walking by and he just lifted me up. He picked me up and twirled okay. me around. Okay. And then was like, "Do you want to collaborate on a YouTube video?" And I was like, "Sure." Oh yeah. And then a year later, he reached out and we be, did videos together. That's a, that's a good that's a good line. In LA. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to be on my YouTube channel? Right. I gotta, I gotta do that more. And then the other one, uh, I was at the bungalow, the mating grounds for every. Did you guys go to the bungalow in I've Santa Monica? It, yeah. 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 So we're like everyone, all the oh, pickup yeah, yeah, artists yeah, yeah, go yeah, there. Yeah. It's okay. like the number one spot to pick up women. It's okay. like they make their rounds. Hold on, let me let me take some notes here. I like the bungalow. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of if you want to get hit on, you go to the bungalow because there's guys just patrolling the bar like looking for prey. Right. And they found me, yeah. and I forgot what they did. Oh, he was like, "Oh my god, have you met my friends?" And he like he peacocked hard, like he was dressed really flamboyant. And he was being really charismatic. Yeah. And I was giggling and laughing, and then I go, "Wait, are you a pickup?" coach and he's like how did you know and yeah. i'm like because he introduced me to there's there's certain body language the way he right. introduced me to his two boys oh quote unquote boys so then he invited me to clifton's the next day and he's right. like do you want to study the game i was like sure so i went and i watched how he does it he makes bank these guys were flying in from germany to take this guy's class no yeah <laughs> you just follow him around and he, and he goes up to girls like he'll start dancing and then they have like things yeah. it's all like strategy yeah you you must get a lot of pickup artists hitting on you right i don't know if they're pickup artists they're just i don't know like they nag you and things like that yeah i mean people hit on me i'm just nice to them i don't know yeah. you're kind of intimidating you might not be the t- i'm intimidating yeah yeah but i'm so like you Shy, are too. Intimid. You both are intimidating. In di- <laughs> all three of you are di- intimidating. In different she's ways. intimidating too. L- in uh-huh. different ways. In different ways. She's different not. Ways. No, more. she's friendly. Yes. Yeah, uh, okay. Well, great. Uh, no, uh, Marty's a little intimidating. It's, it's, it depends. Yeah, but I think like pickup. I think they teach you to go after like really approachable girls. So they probably mm. would think that you guys were like out of their league. No, because I thought the whole thing was to pick up on girls that are out of your league. That sometimes, yeah. Because that, that's the whole thing. But you guys are intimidating because. You, I mean, you like I say, you've got the the flawless fairy, fairy tale look. You got the the heavy metal, uh, don't fuck with me sort of vibe going on. Yeah, I don't want to fuck and, with and, you. And, and you. Like I nice. want to fuck with you, but I don't want to. Be... And then you got you got the 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 L A successful uh, and cute girl thing. I have twenty dollars. You, 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 <laughs> me you, too. You, you, you could pass for Katy Perry. You've done Katy Perry impressions. Yeah, you really dug deep on you, my you, Google you, search. No, no, I've got I've got more. But I mean, I, and I, and honestly, I think you look more like uh, Zoe Deschanel. It depends on the hair and the makeup. Right. I'm doing a video with a YouTuber where I'm gonna we're running G wagons and limos right. and we're gonna go and twenty paparazzi and we're gonna go right. as Katy Perry for the day like on Rodeo Drive and like do some pranks. Right. Well, I mean, those are some attractive women. Don't you, you, don't be so de- self deprecating. Oh, I look at Katy Perry. I'm not that hot. You of course. I don't think she's that hot. You don't think Katy Perry is that hot? I don't know. When I look at celebrities that I'm, I you don't think, think Zoe Deschanel is hot. I don't. Hot. Cons- when I like screenshot girls I want to be like, those aren't the ones I screenshot. That- who do you, you want to be like? Girls that don't look like me at all. No, I, I get that. Like Literally. Adriana Lima, I think is beautiful. Okay. I, I like. I hope you don't get like offended. I think you looked like Megan Fox before she had the plastic surgery when she was really pretty. I've gotten that. That's yeah. a nice compliment. Yeah. That's so go. nice. There you go. I don't. My I'm, brother says I look like Roseanne. What the? Fuck? That's your brother. <laughs> so Roseanne that's then kind of or Roseanne my, now? Both. Okay. 
I was gonna say. She's and I've also weight. he also said Rosie O'Donnell. So those no. are the, so those oh, are the two. Give me a break. So those are the two that I think about. No. Stop, stop, stop. Who do you guys get told you look like? Yeah, who do you, who, who, who do people say you look like? I, I can imagine a few things. Um, I don't think I look like her, but people say Ariana Grande. A little bit. I can see. Sort mm-hmm. of, I don't know. Who I else? can see somebody with a lack of imagination saying that. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just trying to think. Uh, just. Um, you have your own. Or thing. Vanessa Hudgens, because I'm Asian. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, okay. But and who do who do people say you look like, Hannah? They say I don't look like anybody. I just look unique. I've never. Nobody's ever him. said you look like a celebrity. Nobody ever. No. Okay. You guys have any uh, any uh, opinion on this? I really don't. No, no. I'm just, I'm asking them. I'm not asking you. Anyway, I don't want to start. Courtney Love? Courtney Love. I don't know. Awful. What does she look like? <laughs> she's got a hook nose. No, she's, no, yeah. I don't know what Courtney Love looks like, but I feel like you have the same style. The hair maybe. Uh, I, I don't I literally don't remember like. what Courtney Love looks like. No, this is no, pre no, this is pre Trust me, trust me, nobody does. Uh, yeah, no, no, this no, is no, pre Coke face it and Okay, shit. so let's let's say let's say Frances, uh, her daughter Frances, and we'll leave it at that. Well, I, I you do, were like, I'm s I am do not want to offend you, but like Megan Fox, I'm like, you look like Courtney Love. Yeah, a great one. Good, good, good <laughs> one there, Emily. Well, I felt like I had to pick someone. I just thought of the first I, I, blonde not, rocker n- chick. N- nice of you to nag our co host. Maybe Cameron Diaz. She, actually, okay. you know what? Once I did get that. Oh, I there saved myself. You saved God. yourself. You're, you you're negging our co host. I wasn't. I, I do mm. neg. What oh, does, yeah. Who does Mark look like? No, stop. Anyway, so we're going to play. Roseanne. <laughs> yeah, I, it's kind of, sort of. Anyway, we're going to play We're gonna play uh, Star Alien's new song. And I'm going to give you the camera because I'm going to dance because I like the song. Okay. <laughs> this is, now, you. Uh, I, I take it you go to Hawaii a bunch? Um, I only been like three times, but I just love it. Hey, are you Hawaiian? No, I wish. What? Uh, what? I mean, <laughs> what nationality? Or what? 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 Uh, amazing combination uh, 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 has this beauty that's uh, before us. <laughs> um, I'm Filipino, Italian, Mexican. Oh, perfect. That's a nice. That's an interesting mix. Anyway. Ethnically ambiguous is in. Hey, yeah. Why not? But uh, I, I'm part of Italian too. So this is from my paisana, star <laughs> alien. This is uh, Kauai, and I'm gonna dance. <laughs> oh, I hear it. Yeah, it's American. It's American. <laughs> Everybody can dance. Come on. <laughs> Oh, I like that. Yes, this is a good. Uh, this is like the new, uh, the 2019 summer anthem. I think it is. I really, you know, I think you're onto something. I like. I, I like it too. Thanks. I like it. I mean, uh, we're just figuring that out. So I no, actually I do like, like it. it. It's always weird when you play someone's song because you have to pretend you like it. No, I, no, <laughs> but I, I actually liked it. I was surprised by it. you can get this on uh, Tidal or Spotify or Apple Music or any of. Uh, any yeah. Of the, uh, yeah. But I remember, I, yeah, I listened to it uh, when uh, Star said she was coming on, and the same thing. Like you said, I was like. Hope uh, I like her. <laughs> and, I and it was, it's, it's got, I mean, the drums are really good. It's kind of yeah, got it's really, do you Caribbean your, feel. Do you work with a producer or do you produce your own stuff? Um, a producer does it. Yeah, this is they're, really. They're good at producing. You have a very it, sultry voice, which is nice. Kind of because like, she can sing. Like Lana oh, Del Rey can sing. Like very sultry voices. Very Thank nice. Thank you. That's yeah, a, I'm not a vocalist, but. Huh? You can sing. You're good. No, you can sing. <laughs> What is that then? No, that's high like, pr- that's like, high that'd be like Adele, like oh, like, you know what? That's not even that in anymore though. People like kind of just this like chilly. Yeah. Ah. 
And they yeah. like that, like, chill wave kind of voice. Nobody wants that. <laughs> don't, we don't need yeah. ballads anymore. Yeah, well, we're, over, we're over the fuck boys in the heartbreak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, tell me. Let me tell you something. Sorry, if Hannah's praising you and it's not metal, that's high praise. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, we like the song. It's a good song. No, it's just it's just because I don't listen to a certain type of music doesn't mean like I will pick out like you, you are talented. I will tell you if you're talented. That's what I'm know? saying. Yeah, we've had people in here that uh, we played the songs and it's, you're very you're very quiet. Did you tell them they weren't talented? <laughs> no, I just I just go quiet. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for coming in. You know that kind of thing. Oh and, yeah. 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 yeah it's because oh because we went to see the, we went to see the Cult this weekend, which is a band and uh, <sighs> and the, uh, the the band that opened up for him was Prayers, which I'd never heard before, and I kind of liked them. Kat Von D's husband. You oh. see, the, the, when I started posting, that, I liked them. People were like, oh. Yeah, they were shit on her. I was like, what, <gasts> what's the deal? And they're like, oh, it's Kat Von D's husband. So they're Cholo Goths. No, he is awful. I mean, he sounded just like a cat, and he when he opened up that one song, he's like, everybody's making a rumor about me, and he'd go really high, and I'm just like, shut up. It's, I didn't even know she was married. Oh, she yeah. has a kid too. Really? I mean, oh. But they, but it's like it's like two uh, two skinny guys in black coats, and a big buff guy in the middle just stood there. That was like the. Band. He is not buff. I mean, he was he's compared got to them. Dad bod. I just love that I'm on a podcast that's talking about cholo goths. I like that we're talking about interesting things and not like... Like what? Boxing. I don't know. Boxing? I don't know. I feel like everyone just talks about MMA on podcasts. Yeah, no. I, 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 I don't I, care I, about it. Yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan. No, I'm, I'm, I'm like into sub, yeah, subcultures. And well, the, the, you're, you're, on, you're on the right podcast, and we like it. But yeah, yeah Star, so, uh, so Kawhi, how's what's the reaction to that? Is it um, good? Yeah, people actually liked it, and that's cool. Cause like I, I was too shy to tell people I even made music, so I didn't think I was like good enough to make music. And then yeah, you're good enough to make music. You are. <laughs> you're good enough to make music and and videos too. I think uh, I think you got I think you got a whole package. I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, you're, you're a triple threat. That's what they call it in Hollywood. So. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, own that. So, um, but uh, and on your uh, Instagram page, which I uh, I thoroughly researched, you're big David Bowie fan. Creep. Says, yeah. Yeah, I love. David I know that's a, that's the joke. <laughs> wink, wink. No, but that, you're a big David Bowie fan. Yeah, he's he's my daddy. Really? <laughs> I just feel connected to David Bowie. Yeah. His whole like alien vibe, and he's just cool, and his music's great. Yeah. So uh, an alien from the valley is singing about Kauai. So is this gonna be like a whole <laughs> whole Hawaiian themed album, or are you gonna do no. an album, or what's gonna be just one song at a time, or? What? Um, right now I'm releasing singles, but all my songs are very different. Okay. Yeah. What's the next song? The next song is called 1982, and it's very um, 80s, 70s vibe. Cool. Oh wow! No, that sounds cool. Yeah, yeah. I want to hear that one. Yeah, you know, I, we we will uh, we'll be popping and locking in the studio and break dancing and stuff. <laughs> I'll bring my uh, John Travolta suit. Who knows? Can't wait. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Oh, that's good. And uh, you, um, I, I just I. I like you said, I think it's a, I think it's a beach a beach anthem. What mm -hmm. I was surprised as I was uh, offering you, I uh, messaged you. I said, "Do you want something to drink?" You're like, "I don't drink." Mm -hmm. Then listen to the song. You're like, "Oh, we'll take ecstasy." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just like went sober like last week. Okay, I'm oh, not okay. drinking or Congre doing ecstasy anymore. <laughs> oh, congratulations! No, I didn't. I don't want to. I'm surprised. I'm sorry. What an asshole I am. I'm I didn't sorry. get your, I th that up. text. I didn't get either. When you're like, what do you want to drink? I was like. I assumed alcohol because it's I ass LA, I guess. I yeah, know. I was like, I like Diet Coke. Yeah. But then I was going to be like, with whiskey. But then I was like, I didn't. What if you were like, I meant non alcoholic <laughs> beverage. So I just stuck to the Diet Coke. No, that's, and that's fine. So, okay. No, that's good. I, I, I Happy sobriety. Um, you know, I, I don't want to get f too far into it, but yeah, do your thing. And Are you doing no drinking, no drugs? Yeah, except a little bit of weed. Nothing wrong that's with that. It. Nothing wrong with that. Take the edge off. Just yeah. Yeah. Okay, but you you have done ecstasy, so that is a song from experience. Yeah. And then you say you you won't bite, which I was a little disappointed in, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Or, or you won't bite me, that's for sure. But uh, anyway. <laughs> Don't give me that. See, this is this is the problem, Hannah. Anytime I flirt with somebody, this is harmless flirting. I, 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 I I'm get, just such a. F you, I just, you give I'm me the, that. I'm you're you're Hayoka, a fucking creep. I'm uh, the Hayoka empath. I'm not gonna call. I'm not gonna just sit here and not call it out if I call see it, it out. I don't care. Like if I see two friends together, I'm like, are you guys dating? And then you know what? They end up getting married because if I didn't say it, they would have just went in the friend zone for years without expressing their love to each other. Oh, okay, but that wasn't the face that you were just. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I was like, wasn't, it wasn't like, yeah, I can see you and Star. Uh, getting married in a nice uh, ceremony in Hawaii. Well, she does. You guys did see each other on Tinder, and she did 
say she liked older guys. Yes. Or wait, no, you didn't like. No, so that. she just she just got out of a relationship with an older guy. Just experienced one. Yeah, and now I now don't. I, now my cutoff's like thirty five. Damn it! But uh, no, that's fine. I, you know, what, what are you what are you gonna do? So uh, I like younger guys. Yeah, Me too. Good for you. Okay, everybody likes younger guys now. Like right around like. 26, 27. Mm -hmm. Is your boyfriend younger? No. No. <laughs> See? Like the last guy I dated was 22. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. See, I... I, I, I they I, tell you they love you right away and it's not real, but it's fun <laughs> to fake feelings. I right. love fake relationships. They're really fun. Like fleeting romances. Yeah. And they think they love you because they're young and they don't know and it's just like a right. fun thing. Yeah, you and just play with them. And they're full of energy too. Their they're energy. Energy. Their energy. Their yeah. energy's positive and yeah. they like wake me up. Oh, speaking of that, now you you segued me right to what I wanted to talk about. Your favorite place toy. My what? Your favorite. Oh place. yeah, that's this cool. podcast is located right by my right, favorite Thai right restaurant. Right across the Thai restaurant toy. Oh, that place I is so cool. It. Okay, yeah. so now we so, all love it. My first okay. dates always. I always make them take I me there. I just said that I'm like the dude every time. I I always bring guys to toy. Yeah. <laughs> Good. That's and my recent boyfriend the other day, I took him, and first we sat at the table where you know you can sit on the ground. Uh -huh. Then his legs got tired, so we moved to the hands, mm -hmm. and he was like, "Do you do this with?" guys a lot and i didn't know how he knew because i've taken him to multiple <laughs> but i was like yes yeah. yeah this is my spot that i have taken a lot of guys to i always sit at the pulp fiction table that's my table which one is that it's right when you walk in it's like the second booth okay yeah. they always play I, that one like dude. song uh christopher cross like christopher cross. In the wind. there's like that song it's always weird because it's like a rock and roll tie place right. but then they play this like song that would be on like an infomercial at night okay Christopher Cross? I don't know. Sailing. Sailing. Every time I go, they play that song twice. How, how rocking? It's, is that a rock? I, I don't know. I always go, I seem to like hit it on like the Rolling Stones night. I hit it on the sailing night. No, 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 <laughs> Anna. Now you actually, you saw Tarantino. I saw Quentin Tarantino Whoa. as I was sitting at the. Um, Were you sitting at the whole picture I was table? sitting at the whole fiction table and I kind of just look over and he has a very distinct profile and I was like, oh, my mm -hmm. husband. And I've never been starstruck. I, you want to fuck Tarantino? No, I want to go out to dinner with him and like, cause he has a sexy. Oh, yeah. mind. Like, I just want to like figure just, out his brain. Sure, his brain. Sure, I like right. being manip I like manipulative minds just and make, just make interesting sure minds. Very interesting. He's very just strange, but um. Make sure no, I've never been starstruck, but with him, I was just like, whoa. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're wearing open toed shoes. I already likes feet. Yeah, he's totally into feet. Yeah, he's married though. Say. He just got married last year. That's, that's he'll still suck at some toes. Who cares? Gross, but anyway, dude, I can't even look at a foot emoji. I'm disgusted. Yeah, it's not my thing. That's I just even know that thing. I wear socks emojis. to the pool. Yeah, no, that's fine. I don't. I'm not. My mom's that's like, into. take those socks off. I'm like, no, people don't need to see my feet. Now, Emily, tell tell us because we're we're about to wrap this up. I I can't believe how fast this goes. Tell us your 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 worst dating story at toy. The worst thing. Well, the last guy I dated, um, I brought him, and he was from Minnesota, so he, it was a long distance relationship. So I was like trying to show him like cool LA spots. So I took him there, and that's when he decided to tell me about his parents' crazy divorce and how he found his mom. We were sitting on those like on the ground, and he's like, "I just feel like I can open up with you <laughs> to you about this." And it was about how his he caught his mom in high school in AOL chat rooms and. She was cheating on his dad in these chat rooms, and he oh. just he started crying. Wow. He might not have cried, but I thought it would make the story better. No, that's fine. It was, you know, it was spicy curry, you know. I remember the whole vibe of the trip was ruined though because he got he got so affected by his own mood that like after mm. that night it was just. He projected his own mother. I'm uh, fine with people opening up and telling me their deepest darkest secrets, but this guy like hated his mom, so okay. he like I think that's a red flag. Well, the AOL chat room was the red flag for me, but well, that uh, was his mom. I know, I know. So maybe there's a reason. I don't know. Yeah, he needs to go on live streams. What he I like to do. told my parents recently. I think you should get divorced. Like, really? I'm totally like cool with people like doing their own. If they bitch about each other, I'm like, well, then get a divorce. Yeah. My dad's like, no, 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 don't tell your, don't mention that to your mother. I'm like, well, then stop complaining. No, but that's that that's at this point, yeah. that's what they have. Each other. Yeah, and complaining about each other. Right. Yeah, if they if they got divorced, then there'd be nothing to complain That's about. That's I'm annoyed by my current boyfriend because I don't have anything to complain about. Really? He's, yeah. You're still on that stage. He's just non-confrontational, and he's yeah. like a good person. Yeah, he, seemed, and he seemed like when I met him. He's yeah. so nice. I mean, did he say one word? Uh, no, he said, oh, he said hi. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, he's like a mute. 
Well, like funny. if I had a plus one, you know, I could bring two people because well, no one would even know. He well, was wait there. a second, but but that works because you're, you're you're. I mean, no, no offense, but you're a little mouthy, so I, <laughs> I, think, I no, think that I think, works. Yeah, I know. I sometimes miss banter though. Yeah. But banter guys always fuck me over. Right. Because we're like one upping each other. No, no, this is you. You monopolize the conversation. Yeah. You're the funny one. You're the talented one. And he doesn't want to be in the spotlight at all. Good. And he loves helping other people. Like he loved, like he like loved you guys that day. He's so supportive. That's but great. I don't have anything to bitch about. So now I have to like manufacture problems somewhere else. So I'm like constantly right. investigating shit on the internet. Because yeah. I always have to like figure something out. Yeah, it's all sorts of conspiracy theories. There's all sorts of things to bitch about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But and, and speaking of that, uh, before we go, Star, do you have any bad dating stories uh, at Toy? No. What, no, what not at all. I only went there once with a guy, and it was yeah. cool. He showed me the place. It was my first time. Okay. Well, what, what about the anywhere else? I want to hear a bad dating story from Star. Um, I don't know. I went on a date with this old older guy and he reminded me of my dad and he kept touching my leg when we were watching the movie and I was like gross stop was it touching me <laughs> was it Netflix and chill or was it an actual movie no it was in a movie theater yeah. and he just didn't understand my body language it was like none of don't them touch do. you no, even you I like even this, I, even I can not read that <laughs> it's yeah, funny how chemistry are. can be so one sided yeah guys yeah, like I, I have to like lean forward. They have the arm around me, and I'm just like like this, and they're yeah. still, right. and then I'm 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 hurting because I'm like this for an hour yeah, and a yeah, half. Yeah, because if I go like this, then his arm. Yeah, yeah, it's guys. You we, think we, they we don't get know. it? No, we don't get it. We well, don't get it. We've never trained. I know you weren't getting it a few minutes ago. No, I uh, tried to give you that look. I appreciate that. No, no, I no, I got it. I was just. Are you mad at me? No, no. I please. I was just flirting around, and badly at that. It's funny. We're on a podcast. We're trying to be funny. So Do you date you girls that are quiet? Because you're kind of a conversationalist too. Uh, depends. Uh, I, I date. Uh, you know, no. You know, I I I prefer women that have something to say. Mm-hmm. I prefer dialogue. I prefer conversation. And I always complain about my boyfriend, and people are like, Emily, he has inner dialogue. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, what does that do me? And my last girlfriend was a webcam girl, so she was very, really. Yeah, she's very outgoing. It was a party. Anyway, where does the time go? I. This has been a fun show, hasn't it? <laughs> Ladies night. I had it a great is- time. You got two new BFFs right now, I think. And uh, Emily, tell us what you got going on. Tell us where we can find you. And uh, tell us any shows coming up, your website, your podcast. You know everything. When is this getting released? This will be uh, released Friday, which is tomorrow, okay. on the radio. And then uh, it will be on all the podcatchers on Sunday night. Okay. Um, I'm going to quick... I'm posting a disco party next Friday in West Hollywood at Ooh. the 1111. It's going to be like Studio 54 themed Ooh. and you can dress like that. Let me find it. I'm just going to read you the flyer. It's you better hurry up with that song. What do you mean? She's having a disco party. Oh. Oh yeah. Uh crap. Oh wait, hold on. I'm tagged in it. God damn it. Sorry. I should have had this ready. Okay, here we go. The Dollhouse Disco. Welcome to the Dollhouse, an immersive and interactive dance party inspired by the early days of Studio 54 and David Mancuso's loft parties with a touch of 90s house. Join us Friday, June 28th inside 1970s Theater where the stage becomes a dance floor hosted by Emily Hagen featuring Monistat. What, the yeast infection medicine? Monistat, yeah, Monistat. <laughs> Ambrosia salad. Yeah, Vagisil. Uh, <laughs> this event is sponsored by Chlamydia. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's 10 p.m., 21 plus. It's like, I think, 15 bucks. It's going to be a dance party. Well, that sounds cool, yeah. Yeah, and I'm going to maybe be on the mic drunk. Right. And then you can find my podcast, Emily Knows Everything. On all, all And I'm podcast. going to have you guys on my – probably want all of you guys to come on mine. I definitely want to come on fun. yours. And, yeah, you're fun, so. Thanks. That's great. Disco party. You weren't even born then. How do you uh, – how do you host a disco? I party? got asked to host it. This wasn't my idea. So you're gonna be doing jokes and then? Uh, I I guess. Yeah. I think they just know I can invite people. To be honest, yeah. I think they don't care if like you're funny. They're just like, oh, she's got friends. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't even talk about stand up comedy. We will next time that you're on the Who show. Who cares? Who gives a shit? Anyway. I don't really care that much about it. Yeah, I neither do. I, neither, <laughs> I don't neither. like talking about it. That's why. That, that, that's why I when I have comedians on. I hate I, talking about career. No, they. I. If, I don't have a lot of comedians on because the ones I have, they have to be interesting besides comedy. Exactly. I hate yeah. when they're just talking about the grind. I'm like, right. I get it. You go to Mike's. Yeah, because Hannah loves when I have comedians on, but the comedians I have on are interesting people besides. They're interesting people. They're not like slapstick stupid. Well, Who have you yeah. had on that was cool? 
Uh, well, we had uh, uh, Nikki Wants became your best, your BFF. Mm-hmm. We, we've had uh, Angie Crum. We've had uh, Angie Crum's awesome. Cool. I don't think I know Angie. You need yeah. to meet her. We had Franchi San Pedro on last week. Uh, he's been doing comedy since the eighties. Cool. Uh, anyway, so we, yeah, so we, we just. Uh, but I appreciate you coming. Oh, and out. tomorrow I'm going to take a class with Pebbles. I love Pebbles. Yeah, I'm excited really? to hang out with Pebbles. Yeah, Pebbles is cool. Yeah, we're gonna have Pebbles and, and Liam on. You got to have Pebbles on. Yeah, we've had we had oh yeah we had Liam on. And he Liam's was awesome. Liam and his wife, and it was mm-hmm. great. Oh, anyway. Liam's wife, cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, I sorry, Star. Star. Star's fine. Well, Star, how can people uh, get a hold of you and uh, and uh, listen to your music? Your music is on every all the uh, streaming sites. Yeah, you can find my song um, "Kawaii" by Star Alien. Soon to be just Star, not Star Alien, but right now it's Star Alien. Oh, really? Um, yeah, I just want to be just Star. Okay. Um. And it's on like Spotify, SoundCloud, iTunes, Apple Music, um, and yeah. And Some like drum and bass going on. I know. know I was like, whoa. Um, and yeah, my website staraliemusic.com or mm-hmm. starabelar.com for modeling and staralien underscore for Instagram. Okay. And Hannah is hail Hannah Box six 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 on Instagram. B a k k, not B a c h. Yes, and I am goth comedian on all social media. Everybody have a wonderfully creepy week. Bye.